Hello, everybody. Ciao, Simone. Ciao, Francesca. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here today together and talking about the gift of the body processes, but it's also the gift of the body. And I know that you have a body. Well, you have a body. I have a body. <laughs> Beautiful body, actually. And yeah. so many tips through the Access Consciousness tools. No tips. You said tips. I, I have tips. <laughs> oh, and guess what? We have a sense of humor, in. and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hi, everybody. So, um, yeah, since you just distract me, and because we have a sense of humor, <laughs> like we really have been, <laughs> since we have been like really talking in the last two, three Facebook Live that we had done about the gift of the body processes. Well, when people actually came across the access consciousness tools and the the body processes how much their life changed the relation for the body so would you tell us how it's been for you yeah well you know i've got to be honest with you and when i i mean i've been using access consciousness tools now for i think it's like 2021 years i keep saying 2021 so i think it's around that and i i wasn't that into the body processes to begin with. But can I tell you also, I judged my body like 99.9% .9 of the time. And it was the one thing, like my body was the place that I was always like, oh, this is such a pain. If I didn't have my body, then what else could I create? Because I was, I never had a problem with me. I was always very grateful for me as a, as a being. And my body was the thing that quote unquote got in the way. So to, to be, at first, bars, which is another access consciousness, um, hands-on process and body processes were not something that I, you know, was like, oh my God, I, I found the tools and the processing and the conversation. I was like, ah, oh, this is so matching the energy of everything I desired. Um, you know, I was, I was just having this conversation in a class today that I was doing. And I remember having a, a session with Dane here and he's amazing, like private sessions with Dane here. And I had a private session with him and he said, what would you like out of this? And I said to him, I'd, um, I'd, like to, I'd like to lose weight. Like that's what I asked him for. And he looked at me and he went, no, you don't. And I went, yes, I do. And he went, no, you don't. And he went, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Like this back and forth. And I looked at him and he went, if you did, you would have. And I knew he was correct. And I was like, ah, oh. I was like, you know, F you, Dr. Dane here in the nicest possible way. So over the years, I'm going to say there's been a lot of the tools of access that I have started to look at, you know, um, with my body. And it's not just body processes. It's everything. It's like being in question. It's um, there's so many things that I have done that have overridden my body. And can I just give you the short answer, I like the it. short piece of information that none of you will use is come out of judgment. Mm. If you come out of judgment of your body, mm. Oh my goodness. Then can I say what you'll actually receive with the body processes is, is beyond what you could ever like imagine, like beyond what you could ever perceive possible. Um, there's one of my favorite processes. I'm just going to give it out here. So here you go. <laughs> and you can do this. If you're listening to this, you know what? You're meant to hear it. That's the way I look at it. And if you get someone just to, and, and the whole thing about body processes as well is we're not taught to receive. So even just the fact that you're lying down and someone's got their hands on you in certain positions, whether it's, you know, the immune system or, you know, the spine or wherever that is, you're not taught to just receive. So And relax. Of, and relax. Just relax and receive. That's all you have to do. It's not like you have to, you know, say something over and over again. It's like you don't have, it's not a mathematical computation. It's just lie down relax and receive and right now will you all relax whatever time it is because i can see hello brazil i can see some brazilians on here i can see australians on here it's people from all over the world so and have a look at this information like what time is it for you so here it's like just after 5 p.m you know in brazil it's earlier in europe it's early morning so what have you already decided about your day and already concluded or your evening that it's supposed to look like but if you went into question and didn't go look for the result or the conclusion what else could show up and just relax okay take a breath just <sighs> relax 
And I'm gonna run a process, okay? What energy, space, consciousness, choice, because this is you, what energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, miracles, mysteries, and possibilities can you and your bodies be that would allow you to be total relaxation for all eternity with ease, joy, and glory. And everything at that is times a godzillion, we destroy and uncreate it. Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Good morning, Beirut. I love it. And Estonia. I love it. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Netherlands. So, Netherlands. If you have that relaxation, right, and then from there, choose. And I'm going to give you a process to run. It's called Restoration of Communion with Earth. First of all, will you all acknowledge that you're already in communion with Earth? And what if you increase the communion you have with the earth? And if you get, if you put your hands on the soles of somebody's feet, right? That's what you have to do is put your hands on the soles of their feet and ask for the energy. Restoration of communion with earth. Okay. Now my OCD, ADHD, autism tends to come out a little bit. So I'm, I, I run it over and over again. I say it over and over again, but you don't need to. It's like if you ask for that energy to run, You'll probably notice like after two, three, four times, there's a different energy and play with it. It's like, you know, push like you want. It's like pull your hand off the person's feet. I mean, already I can feel that energy of restoration and communion with earth in my hands and because I'm asking for that energy to run, okay? And then the access clearing statement, access consciousness clearing statement, right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And just run that on the soles of somebody's feet, Okay and be like the restoration of communion with earth. That's what you're asking for. So try that as one body process. Yeah. I need something Hello, Istanbul. India. <laughs> India. UK. Yes. Yay. Thank you, Simone. It's really like the peace and the relaxation that you just infuse in all of us, in myself too, just before coming on this Facebook live with you. You know, I woke up this morning at five, I had several meetings, it's already 12 hours, I'm awake. And then I did different things. And I was like, ah, oh. I was like, oh, I'm tired. So let's, let's, you know, ask my body to revitalize a little bit. And as soon as you start talking mm -hmm. and you mention the fact of the hours and you know, what, what have you already defined, you know, that your days or your time is yeah. and your body has to react. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. What so one other thing, hang on one yeah, second, okay. this because when you say like how many times with the, what time of the day it is, and then you go, oh, I need a coffee, or I need a coke, or I need some sugar, or I need need need. Next time that occurs, just stop for a moment and ask, what body, what do you truly require? Like what do you require right now? Because what if right now wherever you are, you pulled energy from everything around you, like wherever you're sitting. So right now it's like. What I want you to do, apparently I'm I'm quite I've how did we get so lucky? Guys, like, so, wow. <laughs> so what I want you to do is I want you to get the energy of orgasm. Now I know you all know what the energy of orgasm is. Maybe it was half an hour ago, this morning, yesterday, last week, last year, could even be another lifetime. Okay. If you haven't had an orgasm in this lifetime, that's okay. Tap into the energy of orgasm. Ah, that worked. Thanks, guys. Of any lifetime. That energy. Whoa. Nice. Well done, people. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to get that energy of orgasm and pull it up through the earth wherever you are. Pull it up through the entirety of the earth and up through your feet where you are. Like mine are on a second story house, but it's like pull it up through the earth, up through the carpet, the floor, wherever you are, the seating, up through your feet, into your legs. Don't forget the energy of orgasm up through your legs, through your genitals, your tummy, chest, at your arms, your neck, head, everywhere, and up and out, that energy of orgasm. More, 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 more. Everywhere that you started to judge it, where you destroy and uncreate it, right and on, good and bad, pock and pot all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds, and just increase it. Everything it doesn't allow you to perceive, know, be, and receive, that you can be that energy of this like walking, talking, orgasmic energy. That's how nature is. It's like be that. And what if you were like that 24-7? It's like would you rely on the Coke or the coffee or the sugar 
Or would you choose that because you and your body desire to choose it, but not out of necessity? Like we, we have access to the energy all around the world and you're choosing to use it. And that's so much what these body processes are about as well. You access the, I mean, restoration of communion with earth. It's not restoration of communion with nature that's in a one kilometer radius. It's like, no, restoration of communion with earth. All the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, you know, Iceland, Antarctica, it's like the, the woods, the forests, the rainforests, the everywhere. You can you can have that connection. We're like Avatar, guys. It's like we are connected to everything and everyone. So what if we start being it? What what different world and different possibility can we actualize? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> wow. Perfecto. Excelente. Excelente. Va bene. That's my Va bene. Va benissimo. Great. I love it. <laughs> Bellissimo. So, it's also like, it, I mean, I have access to all of that. It's truly, as you mentioned in the beginning, a gift when you get out of the judgment of yourself, right? And you talk mm -hmm. a little bit, but how, one other thing I noticed as well that people have in their body, also in Australia, because I, everything started to, to do it, this Facebook Live from Australia, because I was talking, I'm like, with the facilitator, and they were like, oh, people are not choosing so many body, cross, body crosses um, here. As, I'm like, but without judging there were so many or a lot, I'm like, and if, I, if I'm coming from a different country, right, I'm coming from Italy, and here in the Sunshine Coast, there are the most beautiful bodies that you can find around the world. They are happy, like people are happy, are super fit. They have an amazing, like they have as amazing bodies. Okay, that's what I see. Men, women, kids. But then there is still that judgment, right, of the yep. right body for you or yep. the right things for you. And that's no freedom. That's one of the things I was perceiving. I'm like, what? What other possibilities? What other inspiration can give can we give to people right to look at beyond that perfection mm. and so how did you get out of judgment of your body oh uh, i'm gonna say choice and i'm also gonna say uh, again i'm gonna be honest it's not a hundred percent out of judgment uh Thank but you. it's a hell of a lot more than what i used to oh my goodness it's like now i'm so i mean i'm so grateful like my body's a little sore today, but that's because I, we went back to F45 gym yesterday and today. But it's that good sore, you know, that sore you have when you're like, I'm oh, yeah, sore here. Are, yeah, you're like, my muscles are. I mean, Francesca had to restart her computer and I went, I'm just going to stretch while you do that, you know. But it's a good stretch. And what I notice is you have this presence with your body. And I'm sorry, there is no perfect body. I hate to tell you this. I, why I'm here, I may as well tell you, there's no the one either, okay? The one doesn't exist and there's no perfect body. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Fade to black. Mic drop. <laughs> Two very important things, okay? <laughs> so if you, if you like, like I'm never going to be, like I have a size 42 feet. Like my hands are big, you know? It's like I'm a bigger framed um, woman. That's how, you know, and it's like my weight can fluctuate or from the choices that I make. And yet, what if I never, like, if you never judge your body in the way it looks, it's like for, for one thing I was saying the other day, you know how grateful I am for the size of my boobs? Because I've never been restricted with sport. And I hear so many females talk about sport they couldn't do because their boobs are too big. And I'm like, I love the size of my boobs. And it's like, they, they allow me to do anything. I've done martial arts. I've played, you know, sport with balls, run, done all those different things. It's like, you created the body you're in right now, exactly the way it is, okay? So if you would like to change something, then you have a look and ask questions of, you know, what action you could take in order to change that. Like, I mean, since I've been home too, it's like my body has changed so much. And I love Facebook in the sense of, you know, when it shows you that here you were five years ago or two years ago and you look at it and you're like, really? And it's like, wow, I look so much younger, healthier, fitter, um, 
uh, you know, thinner, like all these different things that are showing up. But each year that I use access consciousness tools and I come out of judgment, I do. It's like you do this reverse aging thing. And it's like, okay, cool. What else is possible? So um, like I said, the fast track is coming out of judgment, but you need to choose that. And one tool I would say is <sighs> stop trying to choose something so that you can be like others. Be like you. Yeah. It's interesting because Yaku Barlow just say, I always compare my bodies to other people. Well, bodies. Yuko, okay. So what if you compared your body to mine? Um, you're a petite little Japanese lady. And it's like, <laughs> I'm not. And it's like, so if we had this continuous comparison, whereas when I look at Yuko, it's like the mm. beauty of your being is just like, that's what exudes for me. And you happen to come in this beautiful little Japanese package. And it's like, how did you get so lucky? You know, how did I get so lucky to know you? It's like, what if we started looking at the beings and then be grateful that we get to play with bodies? We get to, you get to play with your body. You get to play with another body. You get any, and I mean playing like even, um, you know, I was saying to someone today too, I feel like I've been on Zooms all day. Oh yeah, probably I have. Um, but <laughs> friendship to me has never really been this really important thing that I need to have my friends around. I'm very good at hanging out on my own. And, and I was saying to someone today, I feel very lucky that in the last year, it's like Francesca, um, Lauren Marie and Sarah Watt. It's like, and, and many other people too, but this, this, female friendship that I've had with them, it's sort of, we got thrown in here. We all ended up in Sunshine Coast during COVID and we all knew each Living other. Together. Yeah, and, and we were friends, but it's become more expansive is what I want to say. It's It hasn't even concluded itself. It's become just this, always this generative energy that we can be for each other. And I'm really grateful for that and, and what that's been. But we get to play with each other's bodies. Like we, we go to the gym together. It's like we drink gin on my veranda, you know, together and create. It's like we go to Pilates. It's like, oh, we'll go and have lunch or we'll go for a swim in the ocean. That's also playing with another body as well. And also one other thing when you say it's really playing with the diversities of other bodies. Yeah. Because that's it too. Like you, you do something that I will not be able to do it. And then Sarah does this weight lifting, like high weight lifting. But I look at her, I'm like, this is amazing, right? And, she's, like, and she looks fabulous and she loves it fabulous. and she enjoys it. Her enjoying that thrills yeah. me. And that's what this is all about. Yeah. 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 That's really true. Mm -hmm. um, some people say that they feel disconnecting from the body as well. And one okay, other thing so I realized. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You go. No, you go. No, no, go. You go. That's like. Well, you, if you. If Connected from your body, ask what it is that you can do and be with your body that would change that. Because it's going to be different for all of you as well. The first thing I would do, if you can, is take your shoes off and put your feet on the ground, whether that's on grass, sand, soil, you know, leaves, wherever you are in the world. If you can do that, put your feet on the ground and just look down and wiggle your toes, okay? Wiggle your toes and then... Like ask to pull energy. I mean, it can be that orgasmic energy we spoke about, but it's like ask to pull energy up through, you know, your feet, up through your entire body and be present with your body. If you can, like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, if you can do it for 30 minutes and just ask, what are you perceiving with the earth body? And what do you, what do you, what do you require? Because we so quickly just go dum -dum, and we start just our day and we, we get on with stuff. And then by the end of the day, you know, you're either pouring yourself a drink or passing out on the couch or, you know, eating too much food or whatever it is, where the, just take some moments and ask, okay, so body, what is it that you would like to, um, what is it you'd like to choose? Like, what is it you require? Like we went to Pilates the other day and our instructor, who's fabulous, um, said to me, what is it you're asking for at the moment? You know, this year without being like a news resolution, what is it you're asking for? And I said, straight. I said strength and um, flexibility. And she goes, so can you like expand on that? What do you mean? And I went, well, so that I don't, like when I lean down, I'm not making old people's noises. So I'm not like going, oh, like when you stand up, I want to be able to bend down, pick something up, get up, pick, you know, move like that flexibility. And she laughed. And then she said, oh, next you'll be wanting to do handstands. And I went, actually, I saw this thing the other day on Instagram. And, and she goes, really? And I went, 
yeah, why not? And she goes, okay. So she started me in all these different movements that within 30 minutes, I was doing this handstand on a reformer, like on a Pilates reformer. But the way she like showing you what you can be with your body, but it was the request and the ask that I have. And then what else? But not from right or wrong, just from but being not- pregnant. Yeah, and she said to me, do you want to run? Because I used to run all the time and I said, I have no desire to run right now. So that's what I mean. Like if you're present with your body, like at one stage I would run every day and loved it. I haven't run in months. But every time I ask, my body's like, let's walk, let's walk, let's hike, let's do that. But we're not into running right now. And I'm like, okay. So to create that connection with your body, see if you can have that place where you put your feet on the ground somewhere, even lie your whole body, like get on a, you know, like a, all fours and put your hands on there too and it, like run your fingers through the sand or through the soil or the grass or whatever it is and start to look at your body and and have this and also if you come up with any judgment like if you look at your hand or something and say oh my hand is blah 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 whatever it is you know your skin or the shape of your body just take a moment with it and put your attention on it and pock and pod everything that is creating that judgment right and wrong good and bad pock and pod all nine shorts boys and beyonds and then look and at it again and be grateful for it. Like maybe touch it and be like, wow, I'm so grateful for you, skin. I'm so grateful for you, arms. And it's like, thank you. Frenchie. And it's also like people that now maybe they can't really go to the beach or they can't go outside so much or do a lot. One other thing I realize is as well, like home, for instance, I have this Mongolian um, shaped like um, pillows, cushion, that's like it's four. And just touching it and rubbing on my on my on on my body give me that connection that presence of me because it's something that i don't know so what else do you have like in your house it could be a nice sheet could be right also when i'm having a shower how much like the connection with the water and let the water um uh caress me in a different yeah. way let's also be present with your body if you if you we are so lucky simone that we can go out we have the beach here and everything but there are really people around the world that we can know. go to restaurants we can yeah all of it yeah but it's also it's funny because probably the most that they do if they can get out it's really doing sports so <laughs> they might have been training more than before because that's the way they can get out from the, if you the put house. your runners on right if you put your runners on and i know there's a lot of places who are colder you put your runners on and you go for a run What I want you to do is just stop somewhere and touch a tree with your hands or touch the ground with your hands. Like your skin, it's like skin on skin. Like when you have sex, do you want to keep all your clothes on? Mm, Sometimes it's okay. But do you want to keep all your clothes on or do you like skin on skin? That's what I'm talking about, skin on skin. Your skin on the earth's skin. And ask, what would it take for me to be more present with my body? And if you keep asking the questions, then things will change. But don't conclude it and don't. Be, don't be hard on yourself. Like be Thank kind. You. Be kind to you and your body. Thank you. Because that's the point. People say, "Oh, how do I do it? Shall I do it as someone else?" So I don't feel anything. What if it's not about? It's not about. It's beyond the feeling, right? But it's really like, as you say before, it's like all of us as an individual um, way of connecting, right? Mm-hmm. So what if, like, we just have to find our own? Look, you can That's even it. get your own body and it's like, you know, get your arm or something like that and just run your hand. Like, don't touch it. Just be like a couple of millimeters above it and run your hand along your body and be that orgasmic energy even for yourself. And it's like, you know, be, and it's like your body's like, ah, oh, because it likes to be touched. It's like, if it's you touching it, somebody else, it's like, okay. So it's like there's there's tools, like you don't need to not choose to be present with your body any longer. No. Thank you. That's such freedom <laughs> in such a likeness through this, this conversation. And I mean, <clears throat> I'm so grateful for you, Simone, not just because you are one of my um, dearest, dearest friends in the world, but it's really because you have this capacity as well of, and you have been, I know you've been discovering the capacity you have with body day by day. Because oh, yeah. I know I'm I know you since the last eight, nine years. So things have been developing and changing through your choice. And then now you facilitate three-day body class. You facilitate. You are one of the 
very few in the world facilitating the advanced body class. It's yourself, mm -hmm. Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane here. So there has been a demand and, sorry? And Grace Douglas. And Grace Douglas, sorry, Grace. I was like, <clears throat> <laughs> truly like, and sometimes people are asking, I've asked, what is actually the advanced body class? What is the step that we choose? We should choose it. For what reason we should choose it? Um, I'm not going to give you a reason you should choose it. What I would ask is ask your body. Like, will your body, will you and your body receive more if you go? And can I just say, it's like follow the energy on what works for you. Um, like I said at the beginning, I was like, I was like, eh can't be bothered with the body processes in the bars. You know, I love the processing. That worked for me until it didn't, until I think one day I just went, oh, my goodness, can I get my bars run? Oh, my goodness, can I get body processes? And now I, you know, I have some amazing people in my life who um, run body processes on me at least once, hopefully twice a week, depending on where I am and what's happening. And it is such a major contribution to my body. Um, on, I mean, immune system, all of it. And... You go to a three-day body class and you receive a manual and you have a partner and you run these um, processes for three days and then the advanced body class has this energy of, because all the people who go to the advanced body class, the prerequisite is you must have done a choice of possibilities class, which is three days, and two three-day body classes. So by the time you get to the advanced body class, you sort of like this, you've got more of a leap in your step, you know, like the stallion, you're more like, let's go. And that energy of everybody being in the same room is palpable. Yeah. you. It's almost like you can't describe that. Like, I mean, I, I just went, like I said, I went hiking in Uluru recently and uh, in Ayers Rock and hiked around there. And you can take photos and you can capture the colours and it's just stunning. But when you walk around that base walk, I swear to God, that whole earth is just going woof, woof, like this. And you're just like, whoa, you know, it's just, it's, it's breathtaking in every molecule, molecule of your body. And to me, if you walk into an advanced body class with that energy of like, I'm here to receive, no matter what it takes and no matter what it looks like, let's go, then that's what we can create. And that's what we can actualize in the class. And I, I have an advanced body class at the end of this month, hence the reason why we're talking about bodies. And I know Grace and Gary have one in a couple of months in the US, and I'm so sorry, everybody else out there in the world. We will get to you as soon as we can. Advanced body class is not something that you can do via Zoom. Um, it's one of the few classes that we do that we just can't do that. There's something about all the bodies being in the room and the contribution that you all are together and what we can be for you. If you come... I'm there, I've got your back, consciousness has your back, and, and it's like, how much fun can we have? But choose it because it makes you feel lighter. In your world, somewhere you go, yes, I'm choosing it. Don't ever choose oh. anything for somebody else. Choose for you. Don't trust me, trust you. Always. It's also thank you for this clarity as well, because yesterday I had a friend, I was talking with a friend, and actually they were mentioning the upcoming class that you and Gary, Dane, and Brenda are going to have this weekend. Oh, yes. Uh, creating and embracing a word of greatness. Yes. And for me, it's always saying a word of difference the first time, actually. <laughs> because different is greatness, right? So for me, that was the title. But she was like, can you ask me some question? What will create them all? So I literally I said, OK, if you're going to choose this, the class, what will be your life in five years, 10 years, 100 years? And, then, and if you are not choosing this, what will be your life in five years, 10 years, 100 years? And she want to have an answer for me, but wasn't an answer for me. Like, what do you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but go back and forth, back and forth. Because how many times we know, but then we judge our knowing. And we start like, you know, oh, maybe yeah. it wasn't the correct awareness. But well, well, then also what they can do, though, is if you said you should go, then they can make you wrong if it doesn't show up the way they've decided it should. You know a really good, very complicated way to make a choice? Flip a coin. Yes, yes, no. As soon as you flip a coin, if you go heads I'm going, tails I'm not, and you get one, energetically you go, you either go, ah, oh, yes, or you go, damn. You at that <laughs> moment you know what it is that you and your body desire and require. Don't That's make it significant. So it's like yeah. just choose. Yeah. And don't make it about money. Any choice that you make about money, you'll end up limiting 
your um, financial reality. If you choose and ask, okay, what would it take for the money to show up? It's like ask another question. Don't choose based on I have no money. Money is not the source of creation. You are the source of creation. Okay. You. you get to create your reality. You get to create your finances. Thank you. And can you tell us a couple of words about this class coming up this weekend as well, since we have you here, Simone? Just. Well, um, okay. So I've been looking at this class as much as I do because I don't actually look at a lot of the classes um, like ahead of time like that. It doesn't, I, I learned it used to torment me like that and it would take so much energy. And, but I'm noticing some of the conversations that I'm having with Gary, Dane and Brendan and that's usually how it works. Like consciousness has our back and sort of starts to like download you with information that it's like, oh, this. And the one thing I can say is, is that we never go to this place of this, um, like the compression of trying to work out what is. It's this class, I know the four of us will be, I would have said stepping on the stage, but stepping into a Zoom, whatever it is, sitting on my chair. It's like from this place of expansion, expansion, and the, and the prerequisite is um, COP, choice possibilities, possibility. this expansion into that greater possibility. Like what if we truly, embraced and created greater possibilities and one of the things that we've been looking at recently is how many of you and i want you just to have a look at look at this for yourself it's like how many of you know you don't have to admit it you don't have to put your hand up you don't have to do anything like that you don't have to write write a comment if you can if you want how many of you know that you are better than others but you're not as good as you wow i know for me I would like you all to start getting that you are as good as you. And what if that is where we got to with this class this weekend? Creating and embracing a world of greatness. And the world of greatness is you, my friends. What if you stop lying to yourself, stop judging, stop creating the limitations, stop creating the conclusions and started actually acknowledging you and you become as great as you. Drop mic. Oh drop mic. Drop. I love you. Drop mic. <laughs> oh, my drop. <laughs> no, it's perfect. I love it. <laughs> me. People are saying me, me. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for the kindness, the space, and, yeah, the allowance, the, the joy that you bring. That's such a pleasure. And how did we get so lucky? How did I get so lucky? You're welcome. Really. Thank you. Thank you. Thank really. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, one yeah. of the things Gary said to me before I went to Illaru, he said, look, you keep seeing the magic in Australia and the possibilities. What if you started to look at Simone is the magic and the possibilities? And because can I say none of us have got it here. Like just because I'm doing a class and Brandon and Dane doing class with Gary and, you know, with the voice, it doesn't mean that it's like we've got it. We keep choosing more every day. And it's like we keep choosing more every day and asking for greater and pock and potting everything that shows up and and changing all the time. So when he said that to me and I went to Illaru as well, it's like, oh, I started to look at the magic that I be everywhere I go. And better than others, not as good as me. And better than others is not based on judgment. You just know. You know, there's a lot of areas that you're better than others, but are you being as good as you? Let's work on it. As you say, none of us really get it. Like, not, not get it. Like, we're, we're getting it. it all. Like each yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. Each day. And this yeah. is the adventure called living, you know? <laughs> exactly. It's not a destination, it's an adventure. Thank you for that. Yeah. It's really yeah. great. And it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. <laughs> it's a marathon, yeah. Yuko is, everyone is thanking. Yuko is thank you. Thank you so much for showing us the possibility. And we are very grateful for you guys, like being in your life. And yeah, you anyone that will, yeah, thank you for coming. Anyone that will watch this in the future. Simon Milasas, thank you for being here. And say thank you really for being the invitation you be. I'm Francesca Fiantini, so thank you for the invitation that you be, mi amore. I adore you. Amore. Me too. 
So I kind of I'm I'm lucky to be in Australia, and I'm very close. <laughs> Ten, I'm coming to the advance for the class, and I can't wait. And you guys, if you if you can at the moment, but there is anyone around you that maybe have some body process like running some swap, or if you're interested, just look at it. Access conscious latch body classes and see what is around you that you can choose if it's like for you. So. Yeah. Mm -mm. Thank Find you, thank you, thank you. And get a, get a body process run. And you actually start out, like the BARS class is, you know, one of the first classes that we have in Access Consciousness. And then Foundation, uh, which is online at the moment, but there's a whole lot of body processes in that too. So this, I mean, and there's body, um, body process, easy for me to say, body process practitioners all over the world. So go check out yeah. the website, accessconsciousness.com. And if you can, come to the advanced body class. And can I just say, if you're in Australia, I get it. It is one of the most confusing confusing things in the world right now of can you cross a border because the states are just being ooh, ooh, crazy in how much they open shut, open shut, open shut, open shut, open shut. So um, I'd love to see you there if you can make it and, yeah, yeah whatever we can do to contribute Thanks. to you. Exactly. Thank you. Great. So we are good for today. And thank you again, Simone. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Francesca. And thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.